a contestant and a question. My goodness. Uh, $8,000. That's not $1.6 million, is it? But let's speak to someone who no. does know a thing or two about Jeopardy. Keith Williams. He's a former Jeopardy college champion. He joins us from New York. This has caused quite a stink. Caddy's been telling me about it this week. And I was reading an editorial in the Washington Post, one comment piece, where a reporter described this, this winner, this latest winner, as a menace. Why is he a menace? Well, I don't think he's a menace. A lot of people don't like seeing someone win so big, but it's kind of like going on countdown and knowing all the words and knowing how to do the numbers rounds. Uh, it's just a skill that he's spent a long time preparing for, and he's really taking advantage of it. Well, you have to admire his general knowledge. I mean, he's obviously very good at that, but is there something in the way that he approaches the questions? Because as I understand it, and I've been a student of this today, there, there, there is a set of questions under one title, and you can start with $100, then $200, $300, you go all the way down to $1,000, and he is starting with the toughest question for $1,000 first. So he's, he's sort of upset the apple cart. Yeah, it's very easy to follow at home if you start at the top of the category and work your way down all five clues and then go to the next category. But what he's doing is he's starting and going to the bottom, which are typically the toughest clues, and then working his way across the board, going across different categories. He's doing that to try to find the daily doubles, which allow you to wager any or all of your total, and to rack up a lot of money so that when he does find a daily double, he can make these big wagers. Yeah, he's kind of putting himself way out ahead. Um, I understand that James Holtzauer used to skip class when he was in school in order to play online poker, and he became a kind of basically a professional online gambler. Do you think doing that, in your experience of playing Jeopardy, helps you? Because it's not just the general knowledge that you need, is it? It's the whole skill of using the buzzer and getting jumping in quick enough. Yeah, for the kids out there, I would say don't skip school. But it seemed to work out pretty well for him. <laughs> uh, he, he's, he's got the gambling instinct. Uh, and he's definitely doing well with that. But the buzzer speed, yes, is very important. And, Caddy, I'm sure you know this yourself. Uh, if you don't have the buzzer speed, you can't get in because all three players are very knowledgeable, and they're all racing to try to get in first. And he is just so good at beating other people out on the buzzer that it's How do you mean the buzzer it speed? Is. I mean, maybe you can both explain that. I don't understand. I mean, it's, it's just a buzzer, isn't okay, it? So you have a buzzer, but you can't buzz the buzzer until the clue has been said. If you try and buzz the buzzer before the clue has been completed, you're knocked out for another second or two, by which time the other contestants have jumped in. So you've got to get the timing on the buzzer exactly right. That was, I have to say, Keith, that was one of the hardest things for me. That and getting used to the idea of answering a clue with a question. Yeah. Uh, if you watch, say, University Challenge or any other quiz bowl show, people can buzz in as soon as they know the response. But on Jeopardy, you have to wait until Alex Trebek is finished reading the clue. And then you don't see this at home, but there is a string of lights around the board that light up. And that says, OK, you can buzz in. And once those light up, people start furiously uh, buzzing in. And some people will try to do it based on, OK, Alex has finished reading the clue. And then there's a little half a second. And then the lights go on. They try to time it like that. Some people just never get it down. Uh, when I was on, I was 18. And I played a lot of video games. so. I was pretty good at it, but it, it can be very <laughs> bewitching. Yeah. I had never played video games and I had never even seen Jeopardy when I agreed to be on the program. It was my daughter said to me, Mum, you must do this when they asked me to come on it. And so I kind of said, oh, yeah, fine, I'll do it. And then I did not realize what she had got me into. Uh, Keith, thank you very much for joining us. I didn't win, sadly. I'm sure Keith won many times. I did not win on mine. I was coming. Actually, I was winning for the first half of the whole competition.